Okay, here's a tenth and the last item. Don't stop when somebody says, no, we don't have that, no, you're crazy. That less goes full of bananas. <laughs> that just means that they don't know about it. You know, uh, remember, every time you call a government agency, these agencies are thousands of employees. Man, I have a house with just four people in it. I don't even know what those people do, <laughs> where they are, whatever. How is somebody who answers a phone in an agency may only be a temp, how would they know what every department and agency does? Yeah. So what do you do when they say no? Uh, that's the thing. Remember, there's seven, over 17,000 programs that give out money uh, and free uh, services you know, to, to ordinary citizens, 17,000. So that's why then that just starts the process. Now here's the tr tips what to do when that happens. One, you ask that person, well, who do you think would have financial assistance for this issue that I'm trying to solve? Who do you think? They're in that uh, area you know, uh, uh, work that they do every day. They may run across other things. So that's right. Ask them that the place to do. Okay. Number two, you have places in your community that will do research for you for free. The same thing that I charge money for, they will do for free. Like your local librarian. Every library has an ask a librarian. They do research similar to what I do. I mean, I specialize. Uh, but they could help you, particularly easy stuff, you know, that you don't, you don't need to spend a lot of money doing that they could point you. And they know local sources. See, because this money comes locally and handed out, they're also in a good position to know if some, you know, what local agency has that money for you for housing or for, uh, uh, for business or pay your bills or uh, get dental work done or any of these kinds of things. So they're a good thing. Now, here's a third thing to do it is call 211. Now that's a database. You can go do11.org online and use the database. You put in your zip code. There's a special database for every county. So that's what happens is that you will find out there who, where this money goes. Because 211 is only free money. It's only free services. Unlike Google, which is 99, 44, 100% <laughs> people trying to sell you stuff, 211.org and 211 on the phone, you could call 211. Everybody in that database is either a government agency or a nonprofit organization and giving you money and help for free. All free. So that's another place you could do. Okay, now uh, the fourth place to turn is your elected official. Uh, I mean, if you see my reports that I do or whatever, I show you a lot of elected officials even have a form. They have a list of 20 things that you may need money for. Just check them off and, and they'll show you where to get it. Wow. Yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> so I have a report you know, on, on how to get money from your congressman. Well, just call them. And if you don't know how to call your congressman's office, you call your library. They'll tell you how. They have the local number and call the local number. And if you can, go over and see them because then you you talk to some some person who works you know for the elected official and, and they're there to help you this is how these people get elected because if they do a favor for you and you get the 20,000 or whatever you need for your project or for your problem or whatever you'll vote for that son of a gun no matter what they do this is how they stay in business all the time this is how they get reelected so it's using the system and that's why they have staff members who are there just to help you. So if you don't call, these pure bureaucrats don't have anything to do. And they'll be like the Maytag repairman, you know, sitting there <laughs> wondering when somebody's gonna call me? When somebody gonna call me? <laughs> yeah. So that's what you wanna do. Use your elected official. And that's, I mean, try, I mean, this is a resource that we have in our country. I mean, uh, over a third, like 35% of everything in our country is the government. Sure, a lot of people hate it. Uh, the rich people all use the hell out of it. 
and it, it's not, it can't solve every problem in the world, obviously, uh, but it's a tool. It's like having a toolbox in your life. This is something you may need. You know, your church is something you may need, the roads, the school and things. Well, this is another uh, tool for your toolbox to learn how to use and, and something you already paid for. And whether you're Donald Trump or, or you're a street cleaner, you have the same access to this stuff. It's yours, you know, and, and that's what frustrates me is why doesn't the average people know? Uh, and that's why I hope in this uh, little course that you understand more about the government, how to use it, what, what the bad, you know, why you have misconceptions about what the government actually is in your head and maybe finally shake that out of your head. I gotta wash that man right out of my hair. Yeah. <laughs> if you're old enough to remember that Broadway tune. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, good luck and the stuff is out there. The bottom line all this, it takes effort. You know, and that's the key to life. You're willing to put in the effort, it's there. Again, there's no guarantee, but it's more fun at least trying. You're trying to do what you wanna do in life. Sitting around and doing nothing, man, you just get cranky and old and miserable and unlovable. You don't wanna be unlovable, you wanna do stuff. That's what makes you lovable.